Throughout this crisis, millions of Americans have struggled to access a variety of necessities like hand sanitizer, testing, and personal protective equipment. I've been proud to propose and join successful efforts to address these shortages by eliminating unnecessary government red tape. But right now we face yet another crisis. The mandatory closure of restaurants and schools combined with burdensome regulations on our farmers and meat processors has put our country's food production and supply chain dangerously at risk. If you've seen or read the disturbing coverage of dairy farmers pouring out milk, animals being shot and buried on farms, you may be asking yourself, how could we allow this to happen? If we're starting to see meat rationing, you know, even in the stores, meat rationing, can you believe it? The U.S. has only four major processors of meat. They handle as much as 90% of our meat production. As processors like Smithfield and Tyson are shutting down due to the effects of the virus, the bridge between the farm and the supermarket is collapsing, leaving local farmers and communities in crisis. Some of this is directly related to the, to the illness, to the virus, but much of it is a result of burdensome regulations and rules from the federal government. These rules uh, are really making it much worse during this crisis. Plants are being forced, the meat processing plants are being forced to shut down, and others are doing so under pressure. This is creating a growing problem across Kentucky and the country. Kentucky's 4th District Congressman, Thomas Massey, who's also a farmer, has been raising the alarm bell about potential shortages for months. He's shared stories of farmers who are shooting and burying animals on their farms, such as the Nebraska pig farmer who was forced to euthanize 1,200 pigs just last week. The good news is we have a legislative fix for this, and it's ready to go. The PRIME Act, which was introduced by Congressman Massey in the House, is a bipartisan solution that would help fill the gaps in our meat processing chain. I've introduced the PRIME Act in the Senate. The hard, honest truth is that the coming shortages are the unintended consequences of federal regulations meant to keep us safe. While cutting red tape and alleviating bureaucratic roadblocks are things Congressman Massey and I have always supported, the rest of the country is only now beginning to see just how far the federal government has squeezed itself into the nooks and crannies of our daily lives. In this case, our shutdown economy has put local farmers and meat processors in the spotlight. And what we're seeing is a process, a process that subjects them to such onerous regulations that they are literally killing their animals because they have no way to get them to the consumer. This is the same consumer that is struggling to purchase enough meat to feed their family. That's why the Prime Act is so important, and I'm excited for the prospects of allowing smaller, local meat processors to sell directly to supermarkets and to restaurants. These local meat processors are already subject to inspection by state health inspectors, as well as surprise inspections by the USDA. But because they aren't big enough to warrant a full-time USDA inspector on site, they're denied the ability to process meat for restaurants and grocery stores. Believe it or not, you cannot sell to a grocery store or to a restaurant unless you provide an office for the USDA inspector with his, his or her own bathroom. That's crazy. And that regulation alone is preventing local meat processors from being able to be part of the chain. The Prime Act would allow them to process meat from local farmers for the purpose within the state borders. So let's empower these small meat processors so our farmers aren't forced to euthanize animals. Let's protect our citizens' access to protein. Let's get the federal government out of the way and allow our farmers to safely deliver wholesome, local farm to consumer meats. Congress needs to get back to work and pass the Prime Act. We must act now to prevent food supply shortages, reduce waste, and ensure that Americans have access to locally raised beef, pork, and chicken to nourish their families.